Welcome to Lift Planning, the first step to safe crane and rigging operations. Planning lifting operations is internationally and industry accepted as the most effective tool for producing safe lifting operations. Employers must ensure that every lifting operation involving lifting equipment is carefully planned by a competent or appointed person. The aim of the course is to highlight to those individuals and lift team members with lift plan responsibilities such as competent or appointed persons, reviewers, approvers, crane operators, and riggers, the level of detail and content that needs to be considered and included in a lift plan. Planning lifting operations is reflected in the United Kingdom's lifting operations and lifting equipment regulations which require every employer to ensure that lifting operations involving lifting equipment are properly planned by a competent person. In the United States, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASME, Technical Standard P30.1 on planning lifting operations was produced with the intention of preventing or minimizing injury to people and otherwise providing for the protection of life, limb, and property by offering guidance for planning efforts that enhance the safety of load handling activities. It also stipulates the same United Kingdom requirement that the person performing the lift planning shall be qualified and competent. Offshore in the United States, the American Petroleum Institute Recommended Practice 2D is applicable. This recommended practice states that, before the operation, the lift team shall prepare a lift plan for all lift categorizations, and the lifting authority is someone who plans and supervises lifting operations and shall have the practical skill, theoretical knowledge, and ability to carry out risk assessments produce and assess lift plans. Every lifting operation must also be risk assessed by a competent person. A lift plan is a verbal or written process which describes a safe system of work. Its production can therefore be simplified if it is divided and completed in bite-sized sections. This course structure mirrors this methodology by first explaining a logical sectional layout and then presenting and exploring each section individually. Our lift plan example includes the following sections. Description of the lift. Load. Load lifting points. Lifting accessories. Rigging. Lifting equipment appliances, machinery, anchor, fixing or supporting points, additional equipment, lift point, travel route, landing point and surrounding area, lift area control, environmental conditions, lift team, communications, operational behavior, step-by-step -step method statement, technical drawings, diagrams, photographs, or sketches, lift categorization, lift plan administration, toolbox talk, and lessons learned. This may not be the same order information is recorded in the lift plan at your workplace, as reviewers or users will often want to read certain information first, such as the lift category and authorization, approval, or endorsement signatures. This is the main course menu. Select each section to learn how to develop a lift plan as the most effective tool for producing safe lifting operations. Let's get started with description of the lift. Indicate which lifting points are not suitable or safe to use. Yes, that's the correct answer. 